Good afternoon, everyone. Independent coming out with the article, Climate Scientists Expected Nothing Like This Year's Record-Breaking Global Temperatures. Was that after the 18 years and 9 months of no warming, where the Earth had an exceptionally strong El Nino, a natural cycle no less, that brought us into this spike, which is definitely dropping off much faster than 1998. Also underestimating how hot the world will get. So when we look at the center ASO, which is August, September, October temperatures at minus 2C forecast for La Nina, they underestimated how warm it would be. So they just dropped that and knocked a half a degree off. NASA, Earth is warming at the fastest pace in a thousand years. Uh, if we go back 1200, the medieval warming period, much warmer than today, across Canada, warmer, across China, warmer, French Alps, warmer, southern Peru, warmer. And if we look over the last 5,000 years, there's several spikes far above our current temperatures. Feel free to join me in just a few hours, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time, Disclose TV. We're going to be discussing what's coming up over the next year, a timeline out to 2024 with the cooling. A new article from The Independent a couple of weeks ago, climate scientists expected nothing like this year's record-breaking global warming temperatures. Maybe that was because it's been 18 years and nine months since the warming, and it's a natural pattern where it varies up and down with the Pacific Ocean water temperatures. You'll notice the spikes wherever you see the heat spikes on our University of Huntsville, Alabama satellite temperature map, El Nino, El Nino, El Nino. That's where you get the warming, not CO2. And the article continues, we predicted moderate warmth, but nothing like the temperatures we've seen. It's the warmest that the Pacific equatorial region has been since we've started measuring with satellite data and previously when ships used to go through there back in the 1800s. But if you'll notice the RSS temperature data, when it spiked in 98, it was little drops down, little steps down leading into La Nina where you compare with to date is giant steps down. Article continues underestimating how hot the world will get. Let's look straight into the center there, ASO, about the fifth one down. That's August, September, October. They were forecasting out minus 2C in the drop off the temperature of the water in the Pacific region. But since they underestimated the, the heating, well, we might as well just knock half a degree off the cooling because cold is now a new nasty four-letter word banned from social media. Taking a look at La Nina and rainfall, anywhere it's green, you can expect higher precipitation. And especially when it's a little bit cooler as well, like the farmer's almanac and the drop off in the sunspots, expected cooling with the grand solar minimum. That area in some green is gonna turn into snow. The Guardian carrying an article, NASA, Earth is warming at the unprecedented rate in the last thousand years. Let's go back 1,200 years and look at that heat spike right in the medieval warming period. Closer up here for you. Drops out in the little ice age, mini ice age. Then if we take a look also at Western Canada medieval warming period, that's inconvenient truth right there as well. Closer view for you. Jumping over to China, half a degree warmer than modern times. French Alps, this chart goes from right to left. So the left side is the year 2000 where we are currently. You can see the medieval warming spike around 1200 AD and it's been decreasing since then. Southern Hemisphere in Peru, also medieval warming, warmer than today. Greenland Ice Core Research, medieval warming than present. And you'll notice it's a global anomaly as well. It occurred both in the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere, as well as the mini ice age, which we're going to repeat this cycle right now is going to occur in the Northern Hemisphere and the Southern Hemisphere. But taking a look at medieval warming, you can see a slight downtrend overall through these last 1200 years down, except for the small spike that we're having right now, which is less than medieval warming period, Minoan warming period, and the Roman warming period as well. So when we take a look at the last 5,000 years, their theory falls completely apart and shatters into dust. 
Feel free to join me in just a few hours, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time, Disclose TV. We're going to be discussing what's coming up over the next year, a timeline out to 2024 with the cooling, things you can expect, areas on the planet that could get cooler and wetter, and I'm going to accept questions on the chat board there live in real time. Feel free to ask me something. I'll be happy to give you the information that I have. If I don't know, I'll find out for you and pass it on later. And as always, thanks for spending your valuable time watching my video. I so much appreciate it. I know everything in our lives is so busy right now, but you're spending your time and that is so valuable for me and thank you so much. And as always, when we think about these changing times, it's great to have at least some emergency supplies now governments around the world coming out, telling their citizens all the way from Finland to Norway to the Czech Republic to Germany to the United States to prepare at least three weeks of food and water. You know, it's just common sense with this many governments coming out to tell their citizens the same thing.